they perform every Sunday morning, the Vienna Boys Choir. In a few moments, they'll be singing at this mass in the Vienna Hofburgkapelle. They had their first rehearsal at 8 a.m. Joel is exhausted. His friend Dorian is coping better. The church is full to the rafters. This is a tradition popular with both tourists and locals in Vienna. The choir boys are young children, but they represent the continuation of a centuries-old tradition. Joel and Dorian have put on their winter coats and hats over their sailors' suits. The traditional winter uniform of a Vienna Boys choir member when they're out and about in the city. For tourists, a perfect photo opportunity. Vienna is a dream location for visitors. Old, beautiful, baroque, traditional, just like the boys' choir. Gerald Wirt, artistic director and president of the choir, takes us to a nearby cafe. The Vienna Boys Choir is one of the most successful children's choirs in the world. He says boys' choirs are a big attraction in general. One reason is because young children are singing very demanding music at the highest possible level. And that's something that fascinates the public as well as other artists, conductors and singers, and also a lot of composers, many of whom have always composed and written for this medium. Joel is from Malaysia. He always wanted to be in the boys' choir and his parents agreed. Dorian is 12 and he has been with the choir since kindergarten. He says it's difficult to say what it's like in other schools because I'm only used to this one and I like it. <laughs> we want to get to know the boys better. So we give them our camera and they set off with it through the beauty of Vienna. We ask them to show us their city and their lives here. Joel decides to interview Dorian and asks him about his favourite tour. Asia, but also America, he says. I can't decide. There are so many great tours. The opportunity to travel the world is one of the perks of the choir. Do you like snow? Yes, I do, particularly because there's no snow in Malaysia. For me, it's still something really special, Joel says. So he's a little bit sad that there's been no snow so far this Christmas season. Do you have your favourite place in Vienna? Joel isn't sure, but he definitely likes the Christmas market. Dorian is much more certain. My favourite place is home, he says. You can see the city hall there. And up there is the Rathausmann. And there is the parliament. The building housing the Vienna Boys Choir School is no less magnificent. The Augarten Palace is where the boys live and learn alongside around a hundred other choir members, aged between 9 and 14. <laughs> this is our room, says Dorian. They're just ordinary boys. The boys' choir is keen to shed its image as an elite group. That's certainly what they were in the Kaiser's era. But there's a whole educational concept behind singing in the choir. 
Being part of the community is more important than being a gifted singer. The choir offers the children a lot of support and a lot to eat. We had Wiener sausage today, says Dorian, and Kaiserschmarrn pancakes. Tomorrow, I don't know, but it'll probably be something good. The school used to have a reputation as an extremely strict educational establishment. The boys' choir was founded more than 500 years ago. It's always had a very conservative image, at least up until the 1960s. But even in these time-honoured halls, times have changed. Gerald Wirt is giving voice training lessons. That's the phenomenal thing about singing, Gerald Wirth says. Something we probably often forget. How many positive side effects there are of singing lessons and singing together. Some years ago, the Vienna Boys Choir also began passing on its knowledge to the outside world. Tutors from the choir give singing lessons at schools in Austria and other countries. Raphael Nara is one of them. You can do it. The program is called Super R. The aim is to give socially disadvantaged children a sense of self-confidence and sometimes they also find new talents for the choir. Hit the road, check, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, check, don't you come back no more. And sometimes these children also get to appear on proper stages. The Super R choirs are popular. It's about accepting yourself as you are, says Raphael, and realizing that you couldn't do something at first, but afterwards you can. And it's not something abstract that you can write into a school exercise book. It's something you show. It's about trusting yourself to sing in front of the class, to make a mistake, laugh about it, and then everyone keeps singing. Joel is back in class. This should be a maths lesson, but today they're making Christmas stars. For many boys, this is their first experience of a Christian culture. We asked Joel whether Christmas is also celebrated in Malaysia. He says yes, but not like here. It doesn't have any Christian meaning for some families because Malaysia is a Muslim country, he says. Dorian is puzzling over his English lessons. Some of the boys are good at school, others not so good, just like everywhere else. Tina Brechtwald gives us a tour of the boarding school. She's the choir's archivist, dramaturg, and a lot more besides. This is the tailor's shop. Tina shows us the uniform worn by the youngest choir boys. She came to Vienna 15 years ago and has been working for the boys' choir ever since. If you can stir emotions with what you do, you also move yourself, she says. That's such a feeling of happiness that I think that one just wants to keep reproducing it. The children learn that very quickly. It's a feeling of success, a feeling of happiness, and by nurturing happiness in others, it increases your own. And that's a really nice effect. evening choir practice. Joel and Dorian are in the Haydn Choir. There are four choirs in all. Two are always on tour and two at the school. Around a third of the boys come from countries other than Austria.
practice usually ends at 6 p.m. The boys have some free time and the opportunity to speak with their parents. Joel finds a quiet corner with good Wi-Fi reception. He hasn't been in touch with home for six weeks. It's often more difficult for the parents than the boys that they are so far away. Um, we are, it is very difficult for us actually, but we are very happy for him. And I think that, that makes it all worthwhile, you know, that, that he's doing what he wants to do and, and he's happy. Yeah. Hey, we love you now. We love you too. Most of the boys try to remain cool when they talk about their parents. We can't look into their hearts, but we wonder if it's really so good for them to leave home so early. But it's impossible to miss their enthusiasm when they are singing and performing. In their spare time, the boys like to listen to pop music or heavy metal. Maybe Joel will go on to sing in a band. When their voices break, the boys' time in the choir is over. But the things that they have learned here and experienced on their tours around the world will always stay with them.